bring your legs to the point that you still feel like you're back in neutral position so open and lengthen engage your core and then come back make sure you don't arch your back here it's very important so i have to say it again and again and again so keep breathing Xin chào, welcome to Pilates with Hena. This is the last week of 2019, so I just want to share with you all the special workout that I can create. And I want it to be the most important thing that we need to do because it's gonna have a lot with our daily routine, especially for the last busy days of the year. So today we're gonna do a strong core Pilates workout. And if you're ready, just throw it in it and let's begin. All right, now let's start by allow yourself to sit tall with your back in neutral and pull the belly button in. Now open your arm to the side, shoulders down. And I want to inhale, rotate your torso to one side and then come back to the center. Inhale to your opposite side and back to the center. So make sure you want to lengthen your spine here and keep breathing with your own breath. Inhale and exhale to the other side. We warm up a little bit before we start the real challenge here. So keep breathing and five to the other side four belly button all the way in three keep breathing and shoulder lead the movement here now last one to the other side and slowly bring it back to the center hands down rotate your shoulders fully to four directions and reverse inhale deeply through your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth and when you're ready i want you to sit along the mat here we're going to roll down so i wanted to make sure when we roll down our head still within the mat here so lengthen your legs open your legs hip width apart pull the belly button in and activate your feet here bring your arms to the front palms facing each other slide back to open your chest and now inhale lean backwards to keep lengthening your spine here and then slowly roll your spine each vertebra at a time and down to the mat hands over your head we're going to do it five more times with your own breath so inhale and exhale, use your core to roll up, not the momentum, flex forward and then come back, drop your shoulders. Now lengthen your spine and keep breathing, keep your spine lengthening until a point that you feel like you need to roll your spine. Then just roll your spine each vertebra at a time, hands over your head. Beautiful. And three more times with your own breath. So inhale and exhale, slowly reach and flex forward and then come back shoulders down and pull the belly button in very good slowly here with your own breath and two inhale and exhale chin to chest always keep your feet activated by dorsiflex and pull the belly button in round your spine here hands over your head again now last one inhale all the way up and exhale slowly legs forward and then come back lengthen your spine shoulders down shake your legs a little bit shake your hips a little bit here now i want you to inhale and allow yourself to bring your hands behind your hips close your elbows all the way to the back engage your core and now slowly keep your feet together lift your heels all the way up now pull the belly button in and i want you to inhale lift one leg up and down to the other side and then come back keep breathing here with your own breath now make sure you engage your core, make a straight line from your shoulder through your hips and your ankles here. And six more times with your own breath, you can always soften your elbows a little bit to have more support for your wrist. So keep breathing and four to the other side, you can open your legs wider if it's easier for your balance here. And stabilize your hips, only your legs are moving, and really engage your core here. Keep breathing and two to the other side now last one inhale lift exhale down to your opposite side and slowly bring it down engage your core rotate your wrist and then reverse now i want you to allow yourself to lengthen your legs and come to sit in the middle of the mat again open your legs with the apart arms to the front and then roll your spine chin to chest and slowly roll all the way down to light on your back now inhale and bend your knees here lift your legs up and i wanted to inhale deeply and exhale deeply 
and get ready for the challenge. So lift your head and your shoulder off the mat here, activate your feet, start to inhale, two, three, four, five, exhale, inhale, short breath, and exhale. Use your whole arms to pump and one fist distant from your chin to your chest. Now I wanted to make it even more challenging by lengthening your legs all the way towards the front and use your whole arms and this is a hundred. So keep breathing, it's going to help to circulate your blood, circle and also all the core is working and activated here. So keep breathing, inhale and exhale and five. And exhale, four, on feet distant from your chin to your chest. And try to lift your chest a little bit higher. So you always engage your core and stick your lower back down to the mat. Feel free to use your hand to support your head anytime here. Keep breathing in two. And exhale. And last one. And exhale. And slowly bring your head down. Hug your knees to your chest. Inhale deeply to your nose. And exhale deeply to your mouth. And the next movement, I wanted to allow yourself to lift your legs up to 90 degrees here. Open your arm to the side and start to bring your legs from left to right. Now, if you want more challenge here, I wanted to lengthen your legs all the way up to the ceiling and bring it from left to right. Make sure when you do this, you press your shoulder blades down to the mat. So only your legs are moving and feel your oblique are twisting. So keep breathing. I'm gonna do it eight more times each side here with your own breath to the other side and then come back inhale and exhale to your opposite side and back to the center and seven very good try to lengthen your legs all the time try to activate your feet and keep breathing here with your own breath beautiful and five inhale and exhale come back to your right back to the center, to your left, and come back, and four. Make sure you always engage your core to support your lower back here. And two more times with your own breath for each side, to the other side. And last one, to your right, to your left, and slowly bring it back to the center. Hug your knees to your chest. Inhale deeply to your nose. You can rotate your ankles a little bit and reverse. Exhale deeply to your mouth. All right. Now the next movement, the next challenge, I wanted to lift your legs up to 90 degree again. Arms along your body. And now slowly inhale. Open your legs wider and lengthen your legs all the way towards the side. And then come back. Inhale, lengthen and open and exhale, bring it back. Now, if you want to feel your core more here, just really keep your legs further away from your hips. So pull the belly button in and keep your back in neutral. Only bring your legs to the point that you still feel that like you're back in neutral position. So open and lengthen, engage your core and then come back. Make sure you don't arch your back here. It's very important. So I have to say it again and again and again. So keep breathing. I'm going to do it five more times. Stick with your own breath. Inhale, open, and exhale, come back. And four, belly button all the way in. Three, very good, keep breathing. Two, and last one. Inhale, open, and exhale, slowly engage your core as much as possible. And then slowly bring your legs, both legs down to the mat, and then lift it up using your core here. Keep breathing, really pull the belly button in, inhale down, and exhale, lift. And six more times with your own breath. Engage your core as much as possible, and make sure you always keep your back in neutral position. So only bring your legs to the point that you still feel like your back is still in neutral. And then come back, or you can just do each leg at a time to make it easier here. And bring it back to the center, really engage your core here. We're gonna do it five. Inhale down, and exhale, lift. Shoulder blades down, your whole arms down to the mat, and really pull the belly button towards the spine for more support. Beautiful. Keep breathing, don't hold your breath. And three, two. Now last one, inhale, and exhale, slowly bring it back, hug your knees to your chest, shake your hips, inhale deeply to your nose, and exhale deeply to your mouth. 
All right, and now you want to allow yourself to lift your legs up to 90 degrees on one time. Now arms up to the ceiling, palms facing each other. Now inhale and lengthen your legs all the way to the front and arms over your head and then come back. So engage your core as much as possible here and make sure you always keep your back in neutral, pull the belly button in and start to move and then come back 10 times with your own breath. Inhale and exhale, nine and eight. Keep breathing, seven and exhale, come back, six. Engage your core as much as possible. Now try to lengthen your legs all the way towards the front and then come back, pull the belly button in. Inhale, lengthen, and exhale, bring it back. And four, contract your pelvic floor muscles here. Three, very good. Two, lengthen and lower your legs a little bit for more challenging. But make sure you still keep your back in neutral. And last one, inhale, and exhale, slowly bring it back. Hug your knees to your chest, inhale deeply to your nose. Exhale deeply to your mouth. All right, now the next movement, I'm going to allow yourself to lengthen one leg here and then lengthen your opposite leg to the front. Engage your core and open your arm to the side. Now, you can press your feet down to the mat here, bend your knee. Or if you feel like you want more challenge, you can just keep your legs lengthening here. So engage your core and try to lift your hips up and down. So as you can see, I just try to lift my hip just a little bit off the mat. But really engage your core and use your core to do that. So to make it easier, you can feel, fr feel free to just bend your knees and press your foot down. Now inhale, lift and exhale down. Contract your pelvic floor muscles here. We're going to do it five more times with your own breath. So keep breathing. Inhale and exhale. And four, belly button in. And three, straddle blades down. Two. And last one, lift and slowly bring it back. Lengthen your opposite leg or bend your knee if you do it on the other side. So again, engage your core here, inhale and lift and exhale down. Just a little bit above the mat if you lengthen your leg, it's totally fine. Or bending your knee and lift and down, engage your core as much as possible. Up and squeeze your thigh, try to lengthen your opposite leg and activate your foot. And five, four, squeeze your body muscles if you can squeeze in the thighs and three keep breathing here with your own breath two now last one inhale all the way up and exhale slowly bring your legs down shake your hips inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply to your mouth all right now the next movement i wanted to allow yourself to hug one knee to the chest and lengthen your opposite leg to the front lift your head and your shoulder off the mat now inhale and switch to the other side contract your pelvic floor muscles here and belly button all the way in we're gonna do it eight more times each side here with your own breath stabilize your torso your hips stabilized press your hip bones down to the mat and pull the belly button in now always keep one fist distant from your chin to your chest and try to lift your chest a little bit higher to really feel your abs here. We're going to do it five, four, exhale. Every time you switch, use your hand to pull your knee towards your chest a little bit more. Two, very good. Now last one, to the other side and slowly bring your head down, hug your knees to your chest. Inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply to your mouth. All right, and now I want you to rotate your ankles and then reverse. Inhale and exhale. The next movement, just bring your feet down to the mat, bend your knees here. And lift your head and your shoulder off the mat, hands support your head. Open your elbows wider, shoulders far away from your ears. Now inhale and exhale, try to reach up and down. So keep breathing here with your own breath 10 more times here. Beautiful, inhale, lift. And exhale down in nine. Keep breathing. Eight. Engage your core and try to lift a little bit higher here. Seven. Now lift it up and inhale, bring it down. And five more times with your own breath. Exhale, lift. Inhale down. Four. Belly button in, squeezing the thighs. I want you to press your feet all the way down to the mat. And three. Keep breathing. Try to reach a little bit higher and use your shoulder to reach. And last one, lift and slowly bring your head and your shoulders down. Shake your hips, inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply to your mouth. 
and when you're ready I want you to lift your legs up to 90 degree again open your arm to the side open your legs to the side and now I want you to slowly move both legs away from your hips and then come back 10 times here with your own breath and 9 keep breathing 8 7 inhale all the way down exhale lift and 6 and five more times, stay with your own breath. Four belly button all the way in, back in neutral. Only bring your feet to the part that you still feel like you're back in neutral position. In three, two, keep breathing here, press your hips down. Now last one, lift and slowly hug your knees to your chest. Inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply to your mouth. And when you're ready, I want you to lean on one side to do side lift. So, Four arms down to the mat, shoulder on top of your elbows here and lengthen your leg. Keep breathing, hand behind your head here. Now I want you to engage your core, lift your waist up, pull the belly button in and hips as high as you can and then bring it down. Ten, nine, keep breathing, eight, seven, six shoulders far away from your ears, five and four, belly button in, three, two, now last one, lift and slowly bring it down and now I want you to lift your hips one more time so hold it here, shoulders far away from your ears and now slowly move your top leg lift it up just above the hips here dorsiflex and start to make a little pulse here so 10, 9, 8, 7, engage your core 6, 5, 4, 3, 2 and 1 slowly bring your leg down to the other side keep breathing and forearm down to the mat again so shoulder on top of your elbow, lengthen your top leg in front of your bottom one. Pull the belly button in, hand behind your hips and 10 times sit with your own breath. Inhale, lift and exhale down and 9, keep breathing, 8, 7 and 6, 5, pull the belly button in, 4, inhale and exhale, 3, 2, and the last one, lift and slowly bring it down and I want you to bend your knees just a little bit and then lengthen it one more time now lift it up and try to lift your top leg up engage your core just about the hip dorsal flex with your foot and start to make a little pulse so 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 and one slowly bring your hips down and lie all the way down on your belly so keep breathing inhale and bring your hands behind your head Open your elbows wider, open your legs here with the part and I want you to really put your shoulders down towards your hips here. Now inhale and lift the torso up and exhale down, inhale up and exhale slowly bring it down with your own breath. So keep breathing, press your hip bones down to the mat here and really engage your core to support your lower back. And six, five, four, belly button in, three, two, and last one, lift and slowly bring your hands down, shake your hips, inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply to your mouth. And when you're ready, I want you to lift your legs up here, make a pillow under your forehead, engage your core and then slowly lift your whole torso and leg up and down, inhale lift and exhale down, put your shoulders far away from your ears and really engage your core here, eight more times with your own breath, seven, activate your feet. Pull the belly button in, six, and five, four, three, belly button in, two, and the last one, lift, and slowly bring your head down, shake your hips, inhale deeply to your nose, and exhale deeply to your mouth. And when you're ready, lengthen your arms all the way over your head, lengthen your legs, activate your feet. Now slide back to keep the shoulders far away from your ears. Inhale, lift your whole torso up and your legs up and then bring it down at the same time like a superman and we're going to do it 20 times here for this movement. So inhale, lift and exhale down, engage your cord as much as possible and feel free to just lift one leg and opposite arm up if you want to modify it and make it easier. Keep breathing and pull the belly button in. Very good. Try to lift a little bit higher and use your chest, your shoulders to lift, not your neck. Always lengthen your neck and look down to the mat. And eight, seven, 
six. Activate your feet here. Lengthen your neck. Try to lengthen your legs all the way towards the back. Let someone pulling your legs away from your hips. And three, two. And the last one. And slowly bring it down. Shake your hips. Inhale deeply to your nose. And exhale deeply to your mouth. All right. Now when you're ready, I wanted to allow yourself to lengthen your arms all the way over your head one more time. And this time, just lift your legs up. You can press your hands down and slide back to keep your shoulders far away from your ears. Really engage your core and start to walking your leg, your feet in the air here. So keep breathing. Lengthen your legs. Pull the belly button in. And ten, nine. Try to go a little bit stronger and more precise movement here because I want you to feel like you're running in the air, not just walking, and keep breathing. So we're going to do it five, four, three, two, and last one slowly. Legs down, shake your hips, inhale deeply to your nose, and exhale deeply to your mouth. And when you're ready, lengthen your arms all the way over your, along your body here. Head down, and your palms facing down to the mat. Now lift your, sh your chest and your shoulders up, inhale, and exhale slowly lift your legs up open come back and down inhale lift open come back and down so engage your core as much as possible and try to reach your hand towards your hips your legs here so keep breathing belly button in open come back and down engage your core here really pull the belly button in five squeeze in the thighs Pull the belly button in four. And now I want you to contract your pelvic floor muscles when you do this, if you can, by imagining that you're trying to stop the urine flow. So three, inhale, lift and open. Exhale, come back to squeeze your booty, pull the belly button in and create a really strong and supported core here. And the last one, lift, open, come back and slowly bring it down. Shake your hips a little bit here and then come all the way back to try pose. Okay, shake your hips a little bit, inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply to your mouth. And slowly walk your hands to one side. Pull the belly button all the way in. Now to your opposite side. Hold it here a little bit. And then come back to the center and come to sit along the mat. Okay. Now this time, I want you to engage your core here and slowly bring your hands behind your hips, close your elbows all the way towards the back, shoulders far away from your ears and lean backward. Now press your feet down, inhale and lift your hips up. Now slowly engage your core and then try to bring your hips all the way up, like create a straight line from your knees to your hips and your shoulders here and then slowly bring it all the way down to the mat. Soften your elbows here, inhale all the way up. And exhale, slowly bring it down. Now, if you want to make it easier, just press your forearm down to the mat, engage your core and lift it up and slowly bring it down. Or you can just lie all the way down and lift it up like we do normal breathing. So keep breathing. But I want you to challenge yourself a little bit here. So 10 times stay with your own breath. Nine. Belly button all the way in. Squeeze your booty. Press your feet down. Keep your legs parallel to each other. Eight. Very good. And seven, six, belly button all the way in. And five more times, sit with your own breath. Again, always soften your elbows to protect your wrist here. And four, pull the belly button in. And two more times, sit with your own breath. Inhale and exhale. And the last one, lift, hold it here. And I want you to slowly engage your core, chin to chest. Look towards the front and lift your heels up and down. Really engage your core. You can feel your core is shaking right now. Keep breathing. And five, four, pull the belly button all the way in. Three, and make sure you don't pull your chin up to the ceiling. Just look towards the front and keep your chin to the chest. So we don't put a lot of pressure on your neck. And two, and the last one, and slowly, Heels down and draw your hips all the way down. Relax your wrist, rotate your wrist and reverse. Inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply to your mouth. 
shake your hips a little bit. All right. Now the next movement, I want you to bend your knees, open your legs to be the part, and bring your hands behind your under your knees here. Now lift your heels up and slide back towards. So you can lengthen your spine, and we kind of create like a line that your lower leg parallel to your torso here. Lengthen your spine, chin to chest, and look towards the front. Now. Don't pull so much on, you sh don't use your hand to pull so hard on your legs here. Just keep it here very gentle to keep balance and have a with the balance here. So inhale, lift your leg up, using your core to lift, not your hand. And then come back, engage your core as much as possible. Now if you want to make it more challenging, just lengthen your arms all the way up, parallel to your upper leg. So keep breathing here with your own breath and 10 to your left, nine, keep breathing, pull the belly button in, and seven, inhale, and exhale, to your left, come back, keep breathing here, really engage your core, contract your pelvic floor muscles if you can, and always keep the same angle on your knees, beautiful, four, to the other side, three, pull the belly button all the way in, two, Keep breathing, exhale when you lift your legs up. And last one. Now one more, the very last one. Just try your best here. And slowly bring it down, hug your knees to your chest. Inhale deeply to your nose. And exhale deeply to your mouth. All right, and now I wanted to allow yourself to lengthen your legs again. Now open your legs here with the part here. And bring your arms all the way towards the front. Now I wanted to inhale and Activate your feet, flex forward, and then come back, engage your core, shoulders down. Flex forward, and then come back, pull the belly button in, contract your pelvic floor muscles. And we press the sitting bones down here so we don't move the legs, and really use the core to roll back, not the momentum, not your shoulders. Very good, keep breathing, exhale, and inhale, come back. And five, bring it back slowly, four, Keep breathing here, engage your core as much as possible. And three, very good. Two, exhale and come back. Now last one, reach and slowly bring it back, shoulders down, shake your legs, rotate your shoulders and then reverse. And when you're ready, come to own four position. Open your arms, shoulder apart and your legs here width apart. Tuck your feet and eyes on the elbows, rotate to face each other. Engage your core as much as possible. Now I want you to inhale and lift your knees up and slowly bring your hips from left to right and come back. Engage your core. Keep breathing. Very good. And seven. Stabilize your torso. Six. And five. Four. Belly button in. Three. Two, and the last one, to the other side, and slowly bring it back, knees down. I want you to come to try pose, shake your hips, and then slowly reach your hands a little bit further here. Keep breathing, and slowly come back when you're ready, shoulders down. Lengthen your spine, and sit tall, cross your leg here. Lengthen and pull the belly button in, open your arm to the side again and you're going to start to rotate the torso from left to right one more time. Feel your off leg is twisting, press your sitting bones down to the mat and feel free to bend your knees here if you cannot cross your leg and keep your spine lengthened at the same time. So really listen to your body, find a good position for you. Very good. Inhale and exhale, come back to the other side and three two and last one to your opposite side and back to the center hands down shoulders rotate and reverse fully to four directions and i want to inhale and slowly put your hands on opposite thighs rotate the torso to one side to the other side and back to the center forward at your back and look up or you can just look towards the front if you feel more comfortable with your neck there. And then chin your chest around your spine here. And bring it back to neutral. Shake your hips, inhale deeply to your nose. And exhale deeply to your mouth. 
all right and now i want you to cross your leg lengthen your spine you can close your eyes a little bit inhale and exhale and keep breathing few more breaths before we complete the workout today inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth and one more time to keep lengthening your spine and exhale and when you're ready slowly open your eyes and that's the work of today thank you so much for joining me i hope you enjoy it and if you are new to the channel please subscribe and hit the bell to see notification every day when i have a new workout and let me know how do you feel after the workout i'm gonna see you tomorrow bye